Good, how are you? Good. Um, how can I help you? Here for Dr. Hickey. Oh, okay. I didn't even know he was in today. Alright. All right. And your name, please? Connor Weld. Um, you're not on the little thing. Um, can I actually, what are you here for today? To be confirmed whether I have AIDS or not. Ooh, rough life. I feel you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have you fill out this paperwork. Um, you can have a seat in the waiting room right over there, and then when you're finished, just go back to me. All right, thank you. Thank you. actually really busy with the patient right now. He's actually in the surgery. Um, he's super dedicated to his work, so he tries to do the most elaborate procedure as possible. It'll, he'll be right with you. Uh, Um, you wrote no under the sex category, and since you're being seen for AIDS, we actually need to know. Okay, sorry. So if you could clarify, that'd be awesome. I was just a little embarrassed. Yeah, I feel you. Oh, that doesn't really answer the question. Are you a male or a female? Oh. I know. Male. People, people really struggle with this category. You're not the only one. Yay, okay. good for you. Alright, thank you. Isn't that Dr. Hickey over there? Oh. That was one. That was a two. Why is that working three? Woo! Um, he likes to be really yoked before he does surgery. Oh, okay. Hmm? Welder. Yeah? Dr. Hickey's ready to see. Let's go. Okay. Back this way, sir. Good patient. So, I hear you're, uh, trying to get, uh, rid of your AIDS, huh? Yeah. Well, you know, only half a million people die a year from that, so I mean, it's no big deal. Okay. So, actually, we're taking you to the quiet room, you know, a step up from the waiting room, a little bit closer to seeing if you got AIDS or not. So, uh, good luck with that. Have fun in here. All right. We'll, we'll come get you in about five, ten minutes, you know. Uh, well then, Dr. Hickey is ready to see you. Let's go. All right, uh, let's go see Dr. Hickey. Well, what do you know? He's right here. Mr. Welder, how are you? Nice to meet you, Dr. Hickey. Nice to meet you. What's that on your computer? It's a small patient of mine. Cured his AIDS, too. So for you. Okay. It's been like 20 minutes. Where's the doctor? Why are there clothes on the ground? It's, it's casual, casual Friday! Friday. Uh, Mr. Walter, Dr. Hickey will be with you in 5 to 10 minutes. Alright, it's been an hour and a half. I better not have AIDS. Okay, I hope you don't, sir. Mr. Walter? I'm Dr. Hickey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my assistant, B. Heine. Nice to meet you, Connor. B. Heine. We've met, we've met before, actually. I've sent you in the waiting room multiple times. i been here today, Connor. To confirm whether I have AIDS or not. You know what AIDS is? I'm afraid not, Doc. Well, it's a disease of the human immune system caused by infection with human immune deficiency vectors. That doesn't sound good. No, it's, it's usually transmitted primarily via unprotected sex, contaminated blood transfusions, and hypodermic needles. Yeah. What have we been doing lately? Well, you know, Doc, it just happens. It does happen, I understand. I understand. It's all right. We'll get you healed up. Thank you. The best way to test for it is by testing your blood. So, Nurse Heine, can you grab a needle? Absolutely. Heine, I don't like needles. I can't do that, sir. Ooh, oh, right. well, just, um, drink some of this, and it'll numb you right up. Yeah, that stuff will not I don't know about that, Doc. Is this legal? 
Is there no, any other way? That'll, that'll, that'll um, help you. Alright, we'll have to resort to plan C. Grab the cup. Do what you gotta do, sir. Which magazine, uh, which which magazine you would you like? I like pandas. You like pandas? Good All for right. you. Go take care of business, bud. Yeah. Right down the hall. Straight ahead. Oh, I see it. And, um, sir, I'll need you to take your um, shoes off, please. Yes, sir. We don't. It's casual Friday, please. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Thank you, sir. Mr. Welder? Yeah? Do you need any help in there, sir? No, I just finished. Oh, you just finished? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll be right out. Okay. Oh. There you go. How was it? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Mr. Welder, are you done? Oh, uh, yeah. Here you go, sir. Oh, let me take a look at that. There you go, Bill. Hmm. This is a serious case. Just I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah, Thursday after school. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna need to hang that up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be right back with you. Hold on. Cancel the rest of the appointments for the day. This is oh. gonna take a while. Oh, okay. Serious yes, one. I will. Yeah. Nurse Heine? Yes, Dr. Hick? I'm gonna need you. Absolutely. Got a serious case of the AIDS here. Look at that. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. I'd re let put that away, please. Yeah, we need to put fix this immediately. Let's let's sit him up. All right. It's all right. Just relax, sir. We'll, we'll take sir. We'll take care of you. When you're in a doctor's office, you should feel safe. Don't cry. Don't, don't cry. cry. Please, just don't. It's all right. It's okay. No, it's all right. You're good. Just give it to, just give it to me straight, dog. Yeah, you got AIDS. Full blown AIDS. Yeah. I knew this was going to happen. Alright, so Doc, we all know how we get AIDS, but what really happens on the inside? Well, would you like to ex explain? I'll take it from here, Dr. Hick. So, Connor, the immune system. Really, it's a system of biological structures and processes within an organism that protects against disease. Now, obviously, they failed in preventing you from getting AIDS. In the immune system, there's three major lines of defense. Obviously, yours were not effective in preventing you from getting AIDS. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. It's okay. You'll, you'll live, kind of. So, the first line of defense. This is your skin, your hair, the stomach acid, mucous membranes with their cilia. And these all serve as the first barrier to a lot of harmful organisms or chemicals in the body. Now, the second line of defense is the non-specific responses to organisms that are not blocked out by the first line of defense. This is more of the inflammatory response. Now, the third line of defense is the very specific one. It involves the production of antibodies, which are specific to certain antigens. Passive and active immunity fall under this type of line of defense. Um, Dr. Hickey, do you need any help with examining that <laughs> spray sample? I got the Q-tip, don't worry. Here, be careful, be careful. You don't want to contract the virus. That's why the it's deadly, be careful. Don't spill any. It's very acidic. Right, we're gonna have to go test this. Good, swap it. Good. Okay. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Get back in your room. So, Heidi, how did it penetrate along the lines of defense? Well, antigens are substances that are introduced to the body that stimulate the production of antibodies. Now, antibodies are produced by B cells, and B cells are cells me are the cell-mediated immunity. Now, when the antibodies are used in the immune system and they detect harmful substances, antigens. How's his blood pressure? One sec. Because that's crucial. That is crucial. Well, that's a little tight, Doc. Doc, you're taking it a little extreme, aren't you? Relax, okay. relax, relax, relax. Can't feel my relax, toes. Relax, 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 relax. Can't feel my toes, Doc. It's all right. Just relax, relax. Just hold my hand. Right. Hold it tight. It's all right. It's, it's okay. Going it's, going it's okay. Oh, make it. Sir, you should be more worried about your AIDS. Yeah. This is just routine. You can't feel the AIDS. Protocol. <laughs>
It's gonna be okay. It's all right. Put me back. Put me back. Lay, me down. Back. lay, lay down. down. Lay down. Okay. I got it. All right. We got. We got. One seventeen over twenty four. He's gotta relax. Get him some morphine. Oh my god. Just right now. Okay. Now that I have AIDS, is there any way to get rid of them? I'm afraid not. There is an anti-retrogal treatment that can slow the course of disease and may lead to near normal life expectancy, but I don't know what the year is. It sounds promising though. But you know? Yours is pretty bad. Just look at this. Yeah, seriously. That is dude. severe AIDS. That is pretty bad. Yeah. That is awful. You're not even a doctor and you know that. Yeah, you're you come on. And also, look Is there a vaccine or anything? I mean there's no cure or vaccine according to my paperwork. Sorry. But, you know, there is, you can do antiretrobial treatment, which can slow down the disease and let you to live almost a normal life. Yeah, it appears that your AIDS has also attacked the lymphocytes in your macrophages, so that's never a good sign. Sounds pretty bad. I mean, it is very bad, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, not, I'm just going to give it to you straight. Yeah, check and see if you can see any AIDS in his ear. Oh, 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 doc, oh, jeez. Yeah, it's spread it to his ear. Oh, no. It's spreading thing. fast. Yeah, we're gonna have to get you out of this office yeah. quickly. I don't want to get infected. Let's go. All right. Get the wheelchair. Get the, oh, he's, not gonna wheelchair. Be able, he's not gonna be able to walk. Sir, get in the chair. Be careful. Be careful. Don't fall. Sorry. Right. Don't touch me. Oh god, I touched his arm. I touched my arm. Disinfect. Disinfect. I got you. Okay, sir. It's gonna be okay. Oh, my shoes. You don't need, you're not gonna need those anymore. Oh god, there goes my shoe. It's okay. <laughs> Here, let me get the door. No, no, don't touch the door. Don't touch the door. Dr. Hickey. Careful. Oh, there we go. 